Welcome. Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Bring us in for a closer look, son. What up, all Darp here from Mindless Walkthroughs, continuing Assassin's Creed 3. 100% sync walkthrough for the story. So, this is one of our, I think this is our second of three naval missions for the story. This one's pretty, pretty easy overall. The hardest part is just this beginning part. Um, to get 100%, you have to limit environmental damage by 20%. So, basically, don't hit too many rocks and you'll be good. Oh, and you have to stay within 500 meters. That's not too hard. I mean, if you just follow the path I take here, it's pretty much a straight shot through and you won't get very far from him at all. But the hardest part is dealing with the rogue winds and all the rocks. Um, I recommend, unless you are just in completely open water with plenty of room and no wind going, stay at half sail. There will be a couple times I turn on full sail just because I'm out in the open, it doesn't really matter, and I want to keep I want to keep up the speed. But for the most part, keep it at half sail just so you have some kind of maneuverability. And if you find yourself needing to make a very, very tight turn, don't be afraid to go into a full stop just to make a, you know, a slight turn and then go immediately back into half sail. I actually do that a couple times, and it, it really helps, you know, trying to get through some of these corners. Like you see here, turned on full sail, so I go a little faster. Rogue wing kicks in, just go right back to half sail because there is no controlling your boat in full sail with a rogue wind going. So like I said, we stay about 330 meters away from it this whole time. And so long as you're not completely stopping or, I don't know, losing control of your ship, you should be able to stay pretty close to this guy. Here he's gonna turn, go down this little passage we can't follow through. God damn it! They're gonna make a big deal about it. Oh shit, we lost them. Bad things are happening. Murr. It's not that bad. This next part isn't um they we're about to go into a small battle. It's not too hard. It's just um there's a lot of boats. I say a lot, there's not really a lot, I think there's five, but, you know, there's five boats, and a man of war. That's the hard part, it's the man of war. Other than that though, there's just uh, a couple of the smaller ships, I don't even know what they're called, but they're small, like that guy. You can take them down, I think you can take down each one with a single broadside, or you can just... Uh, use your left trigger which is the swivel gun yes but remember do not sink the man of war we actually have to board it so be careful where you're firing your broadsides and I don't know if I mentioned this before but um while you're at while you're in battle on the ocean stay um, you know try and stay in half sail that way you've got plenty of maneuverability, but you're you're not stopped. You know, you have 
some kind of movement going. If you're in full sail, it's hard to turn and it's hard to keep your aim going. Right, and don't worry about the Man of War leaving. I've, out of the dozen or so times I had to do this part, I never had him leave. So, you don't really have to worry about that. Just focus on the five ships first. You see, the Man of War just kind of circles around everything. So if you're going to fire on the Man of War, be sure you're using the chain shot. It'll destroy its masts without actually damaging the ship. And that's how we're going to board it. Alright, so there's not a whole lot left to this battle, just a little time. So, um... I'll leave y'all to enjoy the battle. I'll be back at the end to help out once we actually board the uh, Man of War. Alright, so now we're on board. The new objective here is to get a minimum kill streak of three. Very easy. Uh, run over to our first captain over here. As soon as you take him out, he's surrounded by other guys. So just, boom, chain three dudes. There's about six, five or six guys up there anyway. So, worst case, you've got a couple extra uh, choices. So once that's done, just run immediately to the back of the boat take on this captain and then the second captain will show up soon after and then you're done <laughs> 